It peers through the window. 14 days it'll be outside your door. Grab it while you can, or it's gone forever. It's today! Oh, I knew I was right. February 14th, the most romantic day of the year. Valentine's Day. <sighs> gonna have a great morning, day, afternoon, evening, night, midnight. Oh, it's gonna be a clean sweep, baby. Oh, maybe we could go to dinner. I wonder where we could eat at. Maybe I should ask her. Uh, hey, Spring Bonnie, can you get... What? Hey. Where's she at? Spring Bonnie! Uh, Spring Bonnie. Oh, Fanny, I'm glad you're up. Ooh, huh? oh. Ow. Uh, sorry, Fanny. Uh, maybe I got a little excited there. You doing okay? Oh, yeah, a little. Uh, what's up? So, as you know, today is Valentine's Day. Yeah. And I have a little bit of a theme-appropriate adventure for us today. Oh, really? Uh, okay. Um, uh, why not? All right, wh what's up? Well, I found out this book details about an ancient artifact called the Malevolent Mystical Heart. Said to be located in an ancient temple. This place has coordinates, directions, and everything. I already booked plane tickets. Oh, uh, okay. Never really thought about an adventure being romantic, but I guess it's possible. Come on, Van. Our flight leaves soon. We gotta be quick, too. Don't want to burn too much daylight. Oh, uh, okay. Barely made it. Yeah, not a moment to spare. This is your captain speaking. Please keep your hands, arms, and feet inside the vehicle at all times. Well, I don't really know how he wouldn't do that, but okay. Sorry, uh, this is actually my first time flying a plane. Uh, normally, I just direct carnival rides. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I understand how you make that slip up. Wait, what? Anyways, have a safe flight. Uh, experience a little bit of turbulence on the way up. I would trust that man with my life. Me too. Um, You shouldn't be worried about that, right? Nah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Besides, we can just cue the iMovie map transition, and it'll be fine. God! Okay. Ooh, I see that turbulence came in. Ooh, I think we're finally here. Yeah. All right, you're free to go. For the two ladies in the back, the round trip will be in about three hours, so, uh, be quick. Oh, all right, come on, Danny, we gotta go! Uh, don't forget the book. Ooh, okay! All right, which page did I leave off on the flight manual? I think it was about 65. <laughs> Uh, hey, Spring Bonnie. Hmm? Uh, yeah, what's up? You know that I love beating people's skulls in, and an adventure is really fun, but wouldn't you want to make today more personal? You know? Why is the need for all that? More importantly, it's about the mission than anything. Oh, yeah, I, I guess. You've never been super public about that kind of thing anyway, so I, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, come on, you know I'm not one to brag. It should be right up ahead. Come on. Yeah, okay. Wow. That's crazy. I know, right? How did we finally found it? Whew, not a moment too soon. Yeah, right. Hey, Spring Bonnie, why are you looking so much to rush this whole thing anyway? Huh? We don't have a whole lot of time in the day, you know? I want to save some time for your thing. My thing? Spring Bonnie, I don't really- I didn't- wasn't really given enough time to plan my thing out. Well, uh, with this you won't really need it. Besides, there's always tomorrow. But it's not special tomorrow. Today was supposed to be about us. Oh. Trust me, Vanny, you're gonna love this. It'll make up for it. Maybe I, we should have done this yesterday, but it doesn't matter, it's fine. Yesterday? Why yesterday? It's about today, Spring Bonnie. I wanted to do something personal. Not go on some big adventure. I have fun of these, but, you know, it, it's just not special. But this is supposed to be special. You don't understand what this is. It's going to make everything right. This artifact, it was said to bring its ancient people together. It's supposed to be able to bring you and your loved one's most intimate desires together. So you can spend the rest of your lives loving each other, embracing each other, the way you both want it. Strip away all that cowardice and just let your love shine. Look, I know this took up a lot of the day, but I just wanted you to be able to give it to the girl you love, you know? Wait. 
the girl I love? Yeah, the girl. I don't know her name, but you fantasize about her all the time. You know, talking about how you love her and you hold her so close to you. I've never even met her. I just, I wanted to be a good friend and help you out. Figured maybe you just didn't have the courage to go up and say something to her, you know? I was just trying to be a good friend. Spring Bonnie? What? Has it seriously not clicked? What? I, I don't understand. About this whole thing? The supposed girl I love? I'm not following. This girl that I hold close to me and you have never seen? You might have to spell this out more directly. I'm not really- You're the one I love, you big doofus! <laughs> what? Um... That came out wrong. Uh oh, what's uh oh, what's going on? Well, the heart tends to have a large reaction to negative emotions, especially when it involves relationships. Get to the point, and it becomes kind of uh, uh, what? Explosive? Get down! Ah! Spring Bonnie! Spring Bonnie! Spring Bonnie! Spring Bonnie! Speak to me! What happened? The heart exploded. It, it did what you said it was going to. Oh, right. I can't believe you! Wait, Vanny, you're pulling my leg, right? This is some joke. It's not. It really isn't. All this time? You haven't even noticed it once? I... I... I just kind of thought you weren't very PDA, which is fine. You know how extra I like to be, but I could live with it. I'm willing to make accommodations for my girlfriend. It's just... I thought that's what we were! Fanny, I... You know how excited I was for today? I thought we would be able to go out and be us. You know... I didn't need a dinner, a romantic dinner, something big and spectacular. I just... I just wanted to spend time with you. Fanny, I... I really didn't know. Spring Bonnie, we sleep in the same goddamn bed! Do friends not do that? No! Excuse me, ladies. Huh? What? Oh, no. What do you mean, oh, no? I'm sorry for catching you at such a bad time. Jeez, you've made a wreck of my home. But, you know, my job is to make this sort of thing work. And your relation is in shambles. Wasted, shattered glass all over the floor, never being glued back together unless it was some kind of magical force that was able to fix that. Oh, wait, hey, that's where I come in. What the hell are you? My name is Blackheart Bonai. I am a mystical ancient god. Meant to, you know, bring people together. See their relationship. I'm the water, the fertilizer, the sunlight that allows the photosynthesis of romance to commence and allow a beautiful, beautiful seed to blossom into a large, elegant flower. One that can spread infinitely more seeds all across the world. Hate to tell you, bud, we're lesbians, that ain't happening. Well, to each their own, it can still be a very pretty flower. At least that's what I thought we were. Penny, I. <sighs> Just for the record, that was out of defiance. I didn't want to hit you. Yeah, you missed pretty bad, so I assume so. Girls, girls, I'm sensing a little bit of tension amongst the two of you. A little's a word for it. Why don't we just talk things out, you know? Share our feelings. We're talking right now. In fact, I'm talking right now. Hey, Spring Bonnie, how was your day? Not great. Yeah, no, there was mine. There, we talked about our feelings. You happy, bud? Go away. Not like that, silly. Perhaps if I set a little mood, maybe this will work out a little better. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, no, 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 I don't want to do this! No! Oh, hello, folks! I didn't see you there. I'm Blackheart Bonai, and welcome back to Blackheart Bonai's Radical Romances! <laughs> I say that much. It's great to be back here, folks. Last time we had an airing date, it was about 3,276 days ago. Woo! Time flies, really. I know it's been so long since you all last saw me. 
Hello, everyone. We're back for a story of reboot, revival, or perhaps this is one last hurrah. One last hurrah for the ages, for the nostalgia factor. Maybe your parents are still watching, or your grandparents are... Ooh, actually, yeah, you're, uh... You're all probably dead. But I still hear all your cheeky audience laughter. That means you must be here. Or who knows, perhaps the showrunners have, uh, bought a sound effects pack. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Now, where were we? All right. Tonight's feature, we have two beautiful young ladies from the year 2024. Let's just say this Valentine's Day has brought them much strife, much struggle. However, we're here to do what we do best, and that's repair this broken relationship, or perhaps repair this radical relationship. <laughs> I'm joined today with Fanny and Springbottom. They don't have last name. Cheer it up for him, folks. Uh, Mr. Blackheart? Yes? I don't hear anything. Yeah. <laughs> Got a lot of these gals pulling my leg. Looks like we had a couple jokesters today. <laughs> well, I guess we might as well get started. Let's start with, uh, Spring Bonnie. What's troubling you today? Um, well, oh god, I'm under a lot of pressure here. Go ahead, share with the class. Hey! What? Is this is not enthusiastic enough for you? Am I not as clear as crystal for you? Fanny, please wait your turn. You know, in relationships, it's good to let people have equal balance in them. Don't want one overpowering the other. <sighs> okay, fine. Um, well, uh... Fanny admitted to me that she had a crush on me. It's a little more than a crush, but alright. And I was unaware. Apparently this has been going for... A long time. I guessed her two Christmases ago. I guess I meant nothing. Miss Vanny, please. Would you like to speak up? Hmm? Uh, no. No. I'm fine. I, I don't know. It just felt so sudden. Nothing really came together in my head. Well, it seems like you don't have much permanence for this thing, do you, Miss Springbonnie? Well, not exactly. Oh? Tell him. Because if you won't, I will. Me and Fanny watch a lot of rom-coms on Friday nights. So you do have a knack for this kind of thing? Apparently not. I just... <sighs> Alright, since Fanny wants to peer in with the sass, ma'am, would you like to start? Yeah, oh yeah, I'd love to go. So yeah, for the past, like, year and a half, probably, I've been crushing on this little gal over here. I guess, just crushing, you know. Loved her with all my heart, you know, just treated her nicely and tried to do my best around her. I knew I liked her from the beginning, but, oh man, my heart just raced with all these thoughts of how pretty she was and how excellent she was at everything, and, oh man, I just wanted to help her out of the rut she was in. Fanny! I'm not done. I assumed that her kinds and acts of, I guess, just friendship were returning the favor. You know, nothing ever directly romantic, but like I told her myself, I just assumed she wasn't very PDA, which is fine. You know, I'm a very extra person. I'm very extravagant, very extra, but you know, if someone doesn't want to be like that, I get it. I can hold back for a while. You know, last Valentine's Day, I didn't really want to make a big fuss of anything, because we were just so early on into anything. And our time's gone by, you know, we've gotten more used to each other. I figured this was the Valentine's Day to be it. Had everything planned. You have no idea how excited I was for today. You have no idea how excited I was for today. But no. Apparently, we decided to go on this adventure. This adventure for this mystical ancient artifact. That, oh, she plans to help me as a friend to give to my girlfriend. Or apparently the person I had a crush on. But little did she know that that was actually her. The person she was thinking I was giving this gift to. And you know, maybe I'm being a little selfish and a little petty right now. But hey, I feel a little cheated considering the past year and two months. I just apparently have been a friend. Nothing more than a good friend. Ma'am, this is not a very healthy way to be dealing with this kind of tension. Oh, yeah, it's not healthy, right. Clearly, the two of you never made any official statements. Have you ever talked about these feelings with Spring Bonnie that would make her aware of this? Kissed her two Christmases ago. She blushed, so I assume she liked it. That's not how that works! I spend every day with you. Every waking moment with you. The times I'm not around you are because I have to be, not because I want to be. I feel a similar way, you know? And that doesn't strike you as... more than just being a friend? I just... 
I don't know. For crying out loud, I hate to beat the dead horse, but like, we slept in the same bed for a long period of time. Oof, yeah, that is a pretty bad one. <sighs> that doesn't strike you as more than friendly? I... I don't know. Come on, Spring Bonnie, you have to have had enough friends to realize that that's more than just being a... Better keep my insightful commentary out of this one, folks. Cue the gasping noise. There we go. Spring Bonnie. How many friends have you had over the years? Growing up, I was really isolated from other people. I didn't really know where I was most of the time. Everyone just kind of came and went. Everyone I tried building a deep connection with just up and left me. I... I thought I was never going to have a true friend. Not once. But then, I met Springtrap. My long-lost brother that I apparently never even met. And man... He made me feel amazing. He made me feel like I was worth something. But at the end of the day, he was still my brother. That's what you're supposed to do. Springtrap was my friend, yes, but he was my brother first. And I loved him for that. And losing him broke my heart. Because... I never thought I was ever going to have a friend again. I wanted to grow old together with Springtrap, you know? And then... And then there was you. We talked before, yeah, but... You came to me at my lowest point. And open arms. I just thought that I thought you were my first true friend. I've had so few friends. I never even had the time to think about romance. It was a fantasy. Something out of reach. Never something I ever seriously considered. I just thought I wasn't meant for it, you know? I'd never be good enough for anyone. And that was just gonna be the end of it. <laughs> I... I didn't... I didn't know it was like that. Well, now you do. Lonely old spring Bonnie just... Thought she made a real friend. Didn't think much else of it. Go on. Go with your witty, sarcastic remark. Just, just say it. Lay into me. I'm ready for this to be over. Just let me go home. Let me live out what I'm meant to be. Shut up! What? Spring Bonnie, I... Why do you feel that way about yourself? Spring Bonnie, you're one of the smartest, kindest, extraordinary people I've ever met. Sure, Springtrap helped me a lot. Springtrap helped made me realize that I was my own person. But you helped me find who that was. Nobody I've ever met, not one, has ever done something like that for me. Clitchtrap got close, but he wasn't trying to make me find myself. He was trying to make me find what he wanted me to be. You let me blossom. You didn't guide my wings for me. You gave me the ability to do that. And maybe, maybe I shouldn't have put the label on romance like I did. I just, I don't want to lose you. 
and I thought that was the only way that we were going to be able to spend the rest of our lives together. Or whatever you call this. I just never realized that you'd been so closed off. I'm... I'm sorry. I just assumed too much. I did a Vanny thing again. Where I just rush to conclusions and make a fool out of everyone, including myself. I'm no different than when Glitch Trap found me. I really haven't changed. I don't think it's either of our faults, really. I think we were just under bad circumstances is all. And I don't know if I'll ever really be ready for romance. However, I'm never gonna know until I try. And there's a big old stitched up white rabbit-shaped opportunity in front of me. So, maybe I can make it work. You really mean it? I'm sorry. I'm more sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Clap it up, audience. Clap it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Well, folks, that's been another exciting feature of Blackheart, Bonai's, Brom, Kong, whatever the radical romance. I already forgot the name. Be sure to tune in next week or next millennia, and we'll see how we get out of that pickle. Thanks for watching, folks. So, you want to kick this guy's ass? Yeah. Oh, now, wasn't that... I'd rather keep that private, not gonna lie. Oh my god, I was thinking the same thing. We're like so in sync. <clears throat> I did all that for you, you know? Got you to talk through your feelings, actually open up to each other, show some gratitude. Well, thank you, but uh, mm, can't look on my finger on it. Sure, we'll show some gratitude, but I don't really like your attitude. Ooh, damn! What? Night night, lover boy. No! <laughs> 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 Aw, look at you. It's like none of that even happened. Oh, what happened all right? Whoa. I owed you for that one. Especially after Christmas. God, I, I don't know. It's a lot nicer than I thought it would be, I guess. I'm all embarrassed, God. You always make me feel like such an idiot. Daddy, stop! <laughs> oh my god! Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Five more minutes. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry that took so long. I couldn't even get a reservation anywhere. Ever was booked. Eh. I still had a pretty good Valentine's Day. Really? Shit, are you kidding? That's the most action-packed Valentine's Day I've ever had. Safe to say, well, that adventure wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Aww, I knew it was a good idea. You did that as a friendly gesture. That doesn't count. Okay, okay. Not giving you credit for something that was an accident, dummy. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. It was a mutual effort. <laughs> Dude, the three people in the front row were so pissed. I know, we barely made that flight, and then we just spent the whole time cuddling in the back. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>